Hello everyone. Today I'm I'm going to show you a very nice web application. Um, it is powered by uh, Servum API. Servum Servum AI's API. Uh, this is not a sponsored video by any means. They don't even know I'm doing this video. Uh, so what it can do is it can it can transcribe many Indian languages to English in real time. Now I'm going to show you the demo. So I'll press record. And uh, yeah, so hello, I am uh, Mohan Das, a uh, AI research engineer. I work, um, I, st I live in France and I work at a company um, here. Now I'll switch to Hindi. So let's say if it can detect that. So my name is Mohan and I live in France. This is a new web app that I developed. Kiya hai. Now I'll switch to Odia and see if it works. मोरो नाम होची मोहन मु ओडिसा रो आसी छी ओडी जेबे मु ओडिया रे कोचिस एटा सते भल रे डिटेक्ट करे पा दिस वन इज डिटेक्टेड प्रीटी वेल सो या दिस इज अ फन वेब ऐप दैट आई क्रिएटेड इट इज होस्टेड ऑन हगिंग फेस एज वेल बट यू हैव टू हैव योर सर्वम एआई एपीआई की टू एक्सेस दिस वन द गुड थिंग इज सर्वम एआई इज लाइक दे आर डूइंग सम फ्री क्रेडिट्स राइट नाउ इफ यू साइन अप you get thousand free credits so i encourage you to go and check it out this app uses gradio for front end and live audio input uses sharbam ai for the back end translation and uh, pied up for audio processing basically you can use uh, we are going to use only this four libraries so you can go ahead and pip install them then we are going to import these libraries and to use this app you will need your sharbam api key and this is the website of sharbam as you can see uh, they build a lot of Indian language based um, apps. Once you sign up, you have your dashboard, something like this. You get first 1000 credits for free. So that means that you can uh, transcribe 1000 um, minutes of audio. And this is the subscription key you get. You can just copy from here and uh, this will be useful when you when we're going to use the app. They have a very detailed uh, developer api references as well a good documentation so you can come here and let's say create a variable servum api key and there you can put it. and these are the some things that we need that uh, okay this is the api url the header which basically contains the api key and some uh, model data what model you are going to use and this audio is recorded directly from your mic using gradio it will take this audio input convert it into a wav file and then we'll pass that as files this argument this is given in their documentation so i just copy pasted it i have not much idea that why this format is like this but what is sure is they require wav file and they mentioned that it best if your audio is recorded at 16 kilohertz and this is the main code you can see these are all management like error catching managements but this is the main code that you get your request uh, method and use a post request you pass your api url which is this one the headers your api key the files files is basically the audio file the wav audio file and the data is the this model data what model you want to use what is language code usually this language code is not mandatory but it's good it, it gets a good bias that what language you're speaking unless it has to detect it automatically all right and these are some uh, error handling methods and it gives two things one is the transcript and the detected language so this once we get this output response the we convert it into a json format response is called response.json in the response data json we have transcript the transcripted text and also the language code that what language it detected so this is the method where we pass a smaller audio chunk and it does the transcription for us but now we'll see how we do it continuously for example from the mic we don't get the audio chunk this audio chunk we get a stream of audio then how to convert that so here this is the function stream transcript it also takes um, pretty much similar inputs as the previous one but it also takes another argument that is history the history is the uh, history of transcriptions we want to show 
uh, not only the thing that has been spoken now but what has been spoken during the session as well so this is the initialization it, it doesn't exist before in gradio i use it as a state as a session state so it keeps on updating and this new chunk comes from the audio streaming of gradio there this is the sampling rate and this is the numpy array and here we see that if it is duo channel if there are like st uh, stereo then we convert it into mono channel because the model accepts only mono channel we convert it into um, np int 16 because that's how audio is formatted and then we use the audio segment method from pydub and this audio segment is input to the translate audio method this this particular and yeah from there we get the transcription and the language then we append our history by okay this is my detected language this is my transcription why i am outputting this to history yeah i'll uh, explain this uh, more in detail in the later part because it's it's it got to do with uh, the state of um, it has to do with the session state of gradio i just i'm not very good at gradio but i just found a workaround and here are some to clear uh, some values to clear some cache to clear the state cache clear your api key and uh, mind you that whatever api key you put in there it's not stored it's uh, in the session and it's removed as soon as you log you close the session and now comes the main part or the main gradio app so here also most of the things are like uh, not very important this is the markdown just what i so the what does this app do basically here also this is interesting that you can put different themes that how you like your gradio app to look like very personal and this is the text box that asks for your servum api key and set the language options that we can provide we are using a gradio dot drop down to select among these languages by the user yes and uh, this is the input audio microphone that we have initialized with the streaming true and this is the, going to the output the placeholder for tower output which is going to be the gradio text box then i created a couple of um, clear buttons clear api key button that they will clear the the cache basically and this is very important the state so it is gradio dot state but it does it it preserves this across different runs and why we need this we need this to keep up track of the history we have seen this this history the history of transcription otherwise we'll lose it we can only show the real-time transcription and yeah this is the important uh, one where this input audio microphone um, instance that we created we do the dot stream method and there we pass in the function that we want to call after every yeah stream every means after every five second it will call this uh, call this function and um, yeah this time limit is not really a big thing and these are the input for this function and so the output of this function in what format you because this function has one two three four four input and two outputs yeah just for that we have four input and two out the state is basically will keep preserve the history and finally the clear button basically what will happen if we press this clear button so that uh, call the clear state function and uh, clear the state and output we say microphone equal to demo and demo dot launch so now it, it will launch the gradually so now we got the api key running now i will go to my servum dashboard i will copy the api key i'll come here i'll paste it select the language i'll keep it unknown for now and now i'll start recording hello everyone how are you guys doing it will record after every five seconds so now if i change the language to hindi अगर अभी मैं हिंदी में बात करता हूँ तो भी ये बहुत आसानी से उसका ट्रांसक्रिप्शन बताती है नाउ आई स्विच टू माय मदर टंग व्हिच इज ओडिया तो एबे जदि मु ओडिया रे कथा है की ताहेले मध्ये एहा परफेक्टली ट्रांसक्राइब करि पारे सो हियर इट डिटेक्टेड द लैंग्वेज क्लियरली दैट दिस इज ओडिया आई एम स्पीकिंग इट डिटेक्टेड हिंदी आल्सो परफेक्टली दो वी डिड नॉट स्पेसिफाई एनी लैंग्वेज इट डस इट ऑटोमेटिकली एंड या इट्स अ प्रीटी गुड वे टू get the transcription done in real time so there are multiple use cases that might be possible with it if you have anything in in mind do write them in the comment section if you are willing to have a one on one call on consultancy on gen ai or career or you want to hire me as a freelancer 
my upper profile and my top mid profile are given in the description. I hope you like this video. Till the next time, stay curious.